ready. Welcome back to Video Soul. I'm Donnie Simpson. Joining us today is unquestionably one of the brightest young stars to emerge from the homegrown black music scene in the UK. She already has had three top 10 British hits. She's got rave reviews from all the critics and uh, has won prestigious British industry awards already. This young star is ready to share musical gifts with the international audiences now, and we welcome her to Video Soul. This is Dina Carroll. Hi. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. good. Pretty good. A little good. touch of the flu, but not too bad. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Did you just come down with this? Um, yeah, in the last couple of days. Oh, and man. Like the I'm weather sorry. here ain't helping, but it's yeah. okay. Well, sorry about the rain in Washington. We can't do anything. You have well, to give us some sunshine the next time I come back. I promise you. Okay. Next time you come, it will be sunny and 85. Oh, yes. You like that? Mm -hmm. Or you want 84? What, yeah, I got I the connection. Mind. Up in the 80s. Anything eight. will do. That's easy. We can work <laughs> that out. <laughs> now, you're from, from London, though, so you got to be used to this kind of stuff. Um, I live outside London. I live in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. um, it's about an hour and a half away, but yeah, I guess I'm pretty much used to the weather. Yeah. I don't like it, though. I need the heat. Oh, really? Mm. So where will you live eventually, or do you intend to move because Oh, that? yes, yes. Oh, really? um, probably south of Spain. Uh-huh. That would be nice, southern Spain. Yeah, mm. that would be real nice. Have you been there before? Uh, yeah, I've been there a couple of times. Uh -huh. So I'm in love with the place and the people, the language and the culture and everything. Uh-huh. So I might try it. So do you get to travel a lot? In oh, yeah. And with this job, yeah, it's getting more and more so mm -hmm. um, promoting there and, and uh, doing different work all the time, you know, because the singles are released there at different times to, to Britain. So, you know. You mean different times in Britain as opposed to the United yeah. States. Why is that? I mean, there's so many artists that have come in and, and that's the case where, I mean, it's like six to nine months different sometimes. Yeah, I have no idea. It's, I think it's a matter of the promotional side again. You can't be in two places at one time. Uh -huh. And so many TV shows will want you here and so many right. there and so many interviews. It'd be impossible to do the two. Well, it's possible, but it would really like, yeah. wear you down. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I could have figured that out. Just, <laughs> just need another nine months. But really, that makes a lot of sense. So you've, you've already gotten all this uh, success uh, in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, how important is it to you to be as successful here in the United States. Everybody um, feels really strongly about it. It seems like a natural progression to go from if you've got success or had success in Britain and Europe, it always seems the natural thing to do is try and break America. Mm -hmm. And it's not always, it's, it's a very difficult thing to do for British artists. So I, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's yeah. going to be good too. Is, is it difficult? I mean, we've seen a lot of them make it here. Yeah. in the recent years especially mm -hmm. um, and especially from the black music scene there mm -hmm. uh, soul to soul uh, Sade yeah um, brand new heavies yeah that's right it's, it's, even though India is from the States mm -hmm. but uh, you know basically it's a British band yeah but um, so you know I guess from us looking back, so well, maybe it's not that hard, but I'm sure for no. those three that I named, there are probably 3,000 that exactly. didn't make it. Exactly, it is. It, it's a really hard transition to make from, from like being the top, a, a top British artist to, to trying to break it in the States. It's so Why? hard. I don't know. Well, obviously, because it's a, a bigger country, there's a lot more talent yeah. here and a lot more competition, so mm -hmm. that's one aspect that would be a drawback. Yeah. As an artist, would you be happy just being successful in the UK if things didn't pan mm -hmm. out for you, would you? Very. Um, and Europe as well. Britain mm -hmm. and Europe, I'd be, I'd be happy to settle for that. Yeah. Do you write your own material? Yeah, I co-wrote um, most of the album, and I hadn't written before the, I did the album, so it was kind of like an experimentational thing with me, and it turned out, you know, I'm very pleased with it, but before that, like I say, I hadn't written before, and I co-wrote it with um, the producer I work with. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, we want to take a look at the uh, first video from okay. it. Okay. Check it out. This is Dina Carroll. It's called So Close. And I'm not getting too close because she got a little touch of that flu <laughs> here on Video Soul today. Dina Carroll on Video Soul. So Close. Now, is this your first video or are there other videos that preceded this? Oh, uh, uh, I've done about uh, five others before this, maybe six. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Most of them were done with, by um, Marcus Nispel, who did that one. Mm -hmm. And um, I did a dance track. That I did a video with him. So it's roughly about five or six. Is this your first album? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm starting to feel like we're really behind <laughs> over here, you know? No, no, no only in singles. Yeah. But this is the first album I've ever released. So. Okay. Uh, you mentioned that you, that you uh, wrote some of the stuff on this album. Right. Do you play? No, unfortunately not. I don't have the talent for that. Um, I do lyrics and melody. 
Mm -hmm. um, and like we just get a combination of everything. And if you actually asked us to, to define what is ours within the song, the producer and myself that mm -hmm. I write with, it'd be very hard to say, well, that is definitely minor because we work so close oh, on see. it. So. Yeah. Who is it that you admire in the business? Um, in the business today or, or the yeah. past? Well, either way. I was brought up on like um, the most prominent feature in my childhood was The Temptations. All my right. parents Mine loved too. them. <laughs> loved them. So, you know, yeah. and like um, Wilson Pickett, Sam yeah. and Dave, and you know, all the old people. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say old. <laughs> no, that's okay. Old old people. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Now, over there, you, you get a lot of this music still on the radio today, whereas, like, here in the States, you don't hear much Sam and Dave or Wilson Pickett, mm -hmm. uh, not even the Temptations as That's much as sad. you used to. Yeah, but there, they still play all of that stuff, don't they? Mm, yeah, You hear it kind of regularly, especially yeah. on the pirate stations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah which, we're lucky we've got those, because, you know, there's only one main radio station for Britain, mm -hmm. and the rest are, are either, you know, smaller versions of and local. To, to wherever you're living, or you get the pirates, which they can play what they like, so right. they're good to listen to. Right. Who is it today that you admire? Who's out there now that you really like? Um, I don't know. In, I like the brand new heavies, like you were mentioning earlier. Mm -hmm. There's a band called, um, a vocal group called New Colors, their gospel background in, in England. Um, there's quite a few British acts up and coming that are really getting better and better mm -hmm. because I think with like the British charts what happened was they said everybody was complaining dance music speeded it up because the record companies were making lots of money and mm -hmm. you know saying oh yeah it's a dance track and they were cheap to make but what it, what happened was it gave people um, like DJs and, and small time people the chance to to be established mm -hmm. and build their own companies through doing these one off hits all the time right. so it was a good thing so now they're channeling new talent through them they're actually looking putting money into it Mm -hmm. So it, it's, you know, there's a massive bonus to all that. Yeah, okay. Well, good luck with your album. Thank you. Really, we wish you the best, and I hope you feel better real soon. Mm -hmm. And when you come back, I didn't forget, I owe you 85 degrees of sunshine yes, you in D.C. And if it ain't here, you're in trouble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dina, thanks again. You're welcome. All right, Dina Carroll, this is her new CD. It's called So Close. Check it out. Available in the record stores right now. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go away. Sorry. 